Okay, this is March at Factory Farm. So we're planning the first or second ever flash mob problem solving session with multiple people in different places. So we're working on a compressed brick press. We're going to hold a session for CAE analysis, so computer aided analysis on some of the structural issues on the press itself. And here's Marshall, the project manager, to tell you about this. Hi. So we have three issues that we're bringing to the CAE, CEB press flash mob. Number one, in order to make our fa fabrication quicker, we want to change the base plate, the base U-channel to plate. And yep, that's the existing version. The existing is U-channel. We want to change it to plate. Half inch plate all the way across with a reinforcement half inch plate around the shaft that supports the cylinder. Mm -hmm. Item number two. The compression chamber where the bricks are pressed are currently supported by U-channel. For the same reason, for ease of fabrication, we'd like to replace this with, with half-inch plate with welded-on supported gussets, specifically at the area of compression. And a sketch of that design is right here. Mm -hmm. The third point for discussion is the cylinder press foot design. Currently we cut off the top of the cross post from the cylinder and weld that onto a backing plate that's then bolted onto the actual press foot. Instead of that, we would like to get a cylinder that gives us a clean edge, a clean top of the post, and then weld a collar onto this backing plate and have a pin that holds the, the, the post into the collar. And a sketch of that is right here. So that's the basic design of the new. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is a three quarter inch thick wall holding a two and a half inch diameter post. Yes, yeah, cylinder rod. Mm -hmm. Cylinder rod. Yep. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, I hope you can join us at the flash.